This is K0PIR Portable 7. I am operating out of Tucson, Arizona and in my camper. It's been beautiful weather. The firmware was just released for the ICOM 7300. It's new version 1.4 and boy it's got some terrific updates. Let me show you. Okay, like I said, it's got some terrific updates. And one thing that I really like is this label up here, RF power. That's what I've got it set for. If you push the multi knob, uh, you'll see the menu come up and you can add uh, anything on there that you want. I've got RF power, but if we wanted to put mic gain in there, just tap and hold and you'll see it changes to mic gain. So now all we have to do is turn the knob. We don't need to go into the menu anymore. Let's do that again. I'm going to hold the RF power and it says it's RF power and since I changed power quite a bit I like it set there. So I don't have to go into the menu anymore and that's just fantastic. And the other thing is the uh, the monitor scope and if I hold that in you'll see I've got it set for uh, scroll and fixed. Uh, that's what I usually like and let me uh, get out of there and that right now it's fixed that's the way it normally is and you'll see that on a lot of my videos I use fixed mode a lot but the scroll let me just tap and hold scroll fixed uh, now I'm between 3950 and 4 megahertz so if I scroll down I'm tuning looking listening looking for stations you see it swaps right over that's a big improvement you know software has done that for a long time so it's good that they catch up so I can go back and you see it just slides right on over that's another feature that I really like and uh, the last one is the preset if I hit menu you'll notice that we have two screens down here now two one and two go to the second one we got a preset I'll tap that and I'm using uh, single sideband this morning so I've got it uh, normal is loaded and I can unload it tap that now it's unloaded let's take a look at it uh, I'm gonna hold it down and go to edit preset and I've got a few things changed in here and if you take a look at the article I have on my website you'll see my screen captures but basically and I'm using a filter uh, 2 that's at 2.4 uh, okay, I'll scroll down a little bit and not much uh, not much has changed on here. Uh, I think I might have uh, Might have changed something here. Well, I've got the the wide set. That's my normal now if I wanted to have a preset for uh, DX I would change it to narrow and uh, Then I have a preset for DX when I'm trying to call DX so let me just exit out of there the FT8 let's take a look at it I'll press and hold edit the preset for this one filter one and it's at 3.6 K the thing you'll notice in here we don't have noise blinker noise reduction or AGC we can't uh, set it in the preset so we still have to do that manually but I've changed a couple of things in here uh, let's see I've changed the uh, I think the mod level is the same 50 percent and uh, the AF output level so my meters on my digital software like WSJTX so they don't uh, go into the red I've decreased that to 20 percent so I can exit out of there got a few others that I can fix so if I want to put one for single sideband DX I can put a preset in there for that let's load uh, let's load this one FT8 just tap it and load and go back out now you'll see that it's already set for USB dash D and if I was on the right frequency I'd be ready to go for FT8 or PSK 31 but remember you still have to go in and if you like you know if you're like me I turn noise reduction off noise blinker off and I set AGC to fast on the radio notch of course is off so I still have to set those manually there's a few other neat things in this update so please stay tuned I may have some more on it coming out pretty soon I'm still operating portable out of Tucson 
So if you haven't already, please check out my website, www.k0pir.us. I'll have an article with my screen captures and a couple other tips on there. Oh, and remember, if you're using the preset, I'm going to hit, uh, let's see, the menu and the preset for sideband. I'm going to unload this. Here's a tip. I'm going to load this one for sideband because I'm in, on sideband a lot in the morning. I can exit out. So I had that preset set. The uh, twin passband tuning, uh, that I've got modified. It's changed. It's custom. So if I want... Uh, I can go ahead and press the button in and set it back to the default, but usually I'll, I'll uh, uh, customize it just a little bit. I still, it's still at 2.4K, but if you have your uh, pass band tuning, uh, if you've got that uh, customized, it's going to stay the same. The preset won't adjust for it. Uh, you know, if, I hope you understand what I'm saying. Anyway, uh, yeah, there's a couple of other things in there that are pretty neat, so I'll have it on my website. And uh, thanks for watching. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share. Also, tell your friends. And 73, good DX.